Now let's meet our third team of challengers. <laughs> What is your name, please? My name is Clarence Burke. My name is Clarence Burke. My name is Clarence Burke. Follow along with me on this one, too, panel, if you will, from your copies. I, Clarence Burke, am the proud father of a singing family called the Five Stair Steps. My children's first professional appearance occurred just last year, and to date they have recorded four songs written by my 17-year-old son, Clarence Jr., all of which hit the top of the charts. One, World of Fantasy, sold over half a million copies. As the popularity of the group increased, I felt it was important for me to travel with my children on their singing engagements. I learned the guitar and now play with the five stair steps on their tours around the country. In order to do this, I had to take a leave of absence from my job as a detective on the Chicago Police Force. Signed, Clarence Burke. Panel, these three gentlemen, as you heard, all claim to be Clarence Burke, so we'll start with uh, Larry Blyden. Larry? All right. Uh, number one, what kind of a guitar do you play? Fender. A, fing a Fender guitar? Fender. Number two, what kind do you play? Gibson. Uh, no <laughs> Everybody's playing a different guitar in this group. Number three, uh, what is a G chord? How do you make it? That's not a chord, that's a note. I see. Uh, number two, uh, what rank of detectives, how do they rank detectives uh, in the detective force there? I think it's, it's just a solid rank. I see. Uh, number three, what is the loop? The loop? The loop. That's where the L runs around downtown Chicago. Uh, number one, uh, where is the Erlanger? Kitty Carlisle. And number one, where's the Oriental Theater? On State Street. Uh, number two, who's the mayor of Chicago? Uh, Richard J. Daly. And number three... Uh, who do you record for? It's a Motown type record. It's Windy C. Windy C. Windy? Windy C. Windy City. Oh, Motown. And what did you say about a, a, a G chord? I didn't hear your answer to Larry. I said Larry. it was a note, not a chord. Uh-huh. Uh, number one, do you, are you hooked up to one of those electrical things? Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, you make a lot of noise. <laughs> as much as the Beatles. Number three. Number two, how old are your children? Other uh, ages range from 18 to 2. Tom Poston. Okay. Number 2, honestly, you got a 17, 18 year old kid? Yeah. That's just too much, man. Mm. Number 1, uh, <laughs> what is a, what's a come along? It's a policeman's thing. You know what a come along is? Well, um, I'll tell you, there's, it's an item which has several names to it. Uh, it's a come along or come with me or tag along. Tag along. Okay. Number three, uh, now, is that L still in Chicago? I didn't know whether it's up, down, or sideways. Is it still there? L? I mean, is the elevated, I mean, the loop. The L. Is the loop still there? Of course. Oh. Peggy Cass. And number two, do all your children, do, do, do this, all the stair steps play the guitar, or do, other, do they play different instruments? Oh, they all play guitar. So it's a five-guitar group, right? Well, and they, I uh, Yes, it is a five-guitar group. And, and number one, do they all sing, or do, or do, do they all sing? At times. At uh, other times, they, don't they sing. sing partially. Yes, they're oh. all able to sing, but not they don't all sing uh, in every number. I see. Number three, don't you look a little old to be with the group? I mean, those are five little stair steps. A little bit. Sing? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have for questioning. Time now to vote. So do so, panel. Mark your ballots now, please. Without consultation, of course. Vote for number one, number two, or number three. I believe they're all marked. Have you marked? All right. Tom, for whom did you vote? It was very, very difficult. I, I tell you, I, it, if, if number two has an 18-year-old kid... You're going to change your diet. But number one did look like, I'll say, number one looked like, a, looked like a good father and a good cop. Peggy Cass. Oh, number two doesn't look like a bad father. It's no. like a bad cop. No. I, voted, <laughs> I voted for number two because he's got very snappy clothes and looks as though he's in show business now. Well, is the loop gone or not? I didn't oh, God, it's called the loop. No, that's it. That's a physical property of the city. It's built that way. Larry Blyden. Well, I voted for number two. Uh... 
because uh, there is such a thing as a G chord, but and also because number one took a long time to tell us what uh, what a come along was, and because number two now has the longest collar of anybody up there. <laughs> and I figured if I was going to be with a singing group, I'd want one like that. <laughs> Kitty Carlisle. I voted for number one on a whole different basis. I felt he looked like the kind of a man who was so responsible that he would want to go along with his young children in a, in a group, singing group like this. Very well, the votes are all in and the minds made up. The reasons as you heard them, we're going to find out now which of these three gentlemen in truth is Clarence Burke. Now, the five stair steps have consented to sing for us. Oh, oh great. Great. And before we do so, I'm going to ask the real Clarence Burke, to please stand up. <laughs> now, before they start, I'd like you to meet Clarence Jr., Kenneth, James, Dennis, and Aloha, with Charles Smith on drums and Gregory Fowler on guitar singing their latest release, written by Clarence Jr. and Greg Fowler, Danger, She's a Stranger. to be proud of, I must say. Thank you very much. That's great. Continued success. I admire you leaving your job to travel with them. I'd want to travel with them, too. Thank you. Number one, what is your real name and what do you really do? My name is Gerald Tucker, and I'm a partner in a floor finishing service. Thank you. And number three, what is your real name and what do you do, sir? My name is Willis Pinkett. I'm a bartender. <laughs> fooling him, and that's good in any language. Believe me, there were two incorrect votes. That's twice $250 for a total of $500, gentlemen. Thank you very much again for being with us. Goodbye, and God bless you. We'll be back in a minute, but right now, this important message. Good night, panel. Good night to all of you. See you next week this time and tomorrow on the daytime show. In the meantime, don't you forget to tell the truth. Bye. To tell the truth is a monster in Bill Thompson production. What effect does tenement life have on people? For a look at slum life as seen through the eyes of those trapped by it, watch The Tenement, a CBS News special in color tomorrow night at 10, 9 central time. One week from tonight, the crackling wit of Mark Twain as Hal Holbrook brings America's most famous humorist to life in a 90-minute special. To tell the truth, tonight's program was pre-recorded. To Tell the Truth was brought to you tonight by Bravo Floor Wash. For a shine so soft you can wash it with detergent and it comes up shiny. Bravo, 